are out and the price is out on the PS5. 500 bucks, next gen console. Uh, I can't really say too much about that. So let's just let's just get right to it. I'm gonna take it all the way back to the PS3 for y'all. All right. So if you was to take your seven best games from PS3 and you was to compare them to the seven best games of the PS4. Take out graphics. I mean, just take that out. Let's just talk about the game. Let's talk about what you got for your money. Let's talk about just the story. Uh, let's just talk about the playability, the reliability of the game. If you was to take your seven best from PS3, you was to take your seven best from PS4, what games would you have? Mind you, if you say GTA, you have to go with PS3 because that's what it came out on. All right, so... Um, these games that you're seeing, I can't say they're my top seven. These are just games I'm throwing out there that was just on the PS3, all right? So um, my point is to this is that we can't talk about specs on the PS5 because technically they haven't even used the specs to its highest capacity on a PS4. So we have to throw specs out because they're not going to give us the game that is capable all the time of the specs that the PS4 provides, period, period. So you can't get hype, you can't get motivated, you can't be sold off of these specs on this next gen system because they're not going to give you games that's going to play on it work on it right so think about the day one patches that you have i mean you buy games you buy games on the ps4 you know the problems that they come with you know the incomplete games that you have to get dlc just to complete the games you know how much these games cost right now coming out with patches not being finished not being able to be finished some of them not even able to be played. And this is still with them underperforming the full capability of the system. How bad do you think it's going to be for the next version? It's going to be a disaster. Sure, you're going to have good games on there. Sure, you're going to have good graphics. But are you going to have good games consistently and are they going to be reliable? Are you going to be able to play them when you want to play them? It's crazy. The hype over this is crazy. We've got to calm down. We've got to calm down. All right. So what I want you to do, just list below all of your favorite games from both systems just put them down there just just tell me which one do you think you know what 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 do you think has the best games ps3 or ps4 when you take graphics out i mean let, let's just let's just leave it at that all right um like subscribe comment click the little bell like this is just getting out of hand this hype this buzz it's just getting out of hand these games are probably going to cost us $120. Like, we've got to stop this before it starts. Gaming Addicts.